Okay, so there's uh, sort of the friggin' where the chooch stack's going. I'm gonna have to sort of modify it a little bit, but uh, I gotta go to PA and get some grinder discs. I forgot uh, yesterday that I was, I was uh, supposed to go there and get that, but uh, so yeah. But uh, see, I gotta get this coating off of there, eh? You can see friggin' uh, it's uh, it's pretty thick, and the and the sand and discs don't really like it, eh? It's uh, you know, it burns them out pretty quick or whatever. So uh, that's one thing you're gonna have to deal with if you ever decide to make one of these. They got like this coating of shit on there, I guess, to stop her from rusting out, eh? But uh, yeah. So, uh, anyways, friggin' uh, going to go get some grinding discs. I'm gonna have to open that hole up, you know, a lot, a uh, lot closer to the edge there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll do that uh, with the grinder. Well, I'll plasma cutter most of it out and then smooth smooth the edges with the grinder stuff like that so yeah uh, project stove pipe on hold another day son of a bitch I hate when I forget stuff but uh, yeah other than that cheat it what uh, they're filming the BBB show down the hall but uh, I don't know if, uh, if any of you guys knew how dickered my fancy pants were but see I got them that was an old uh, old tear, but I got them fixed up there. And first day I wore them, I caught myself on fire plasma cutting. Look at that, eh? Okay? Brand new fancy pants. I even got my friggin' my pocket sewed back on, eh? Okay? And my pen pocket. Oh, where are we here? Where are we? There we go. Hey, okay, the friggin' pen pocket sewed up. Uh, you know, a bunch of uh, stupid little spots and stuff all over the place. And look at me. Look at me. It's just deckered. But anyways, yeah, so caught myself on fire plasma cutting, so uh, yeah, my new fancy pants are dickered, but uh, yeah, I'm just getting the pieces cut for to make the uh, the box opening. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to weld anything until I'm sure all the pieces are going to fit and they're going where they're going and stuff and this and that, so I mean, I'm going to weld the box together and cut it and make it fit and everything else, but you know, I don't want to get all carried away and end up having to cut something off, so... Well, uh, yeah, and I got some, I dug out some uh, material there. I got a couple pieces of pipe. I had a, I had a re uh, friggin' son of a bitch last night, like an epiphany sort of thing. And uh, I could see a ball valve, a big, I know I got one somewhere. I can't find it right now, but it's like a big, dirty ball valve with the son of a bitch. So if we ball valve outside, then I should be able to son of a bitch the math, okay? But I'm thinking, like, I'm looking down in here, right? And I'm thinking, you know, if the pipe goes in, and if I weld it or something right to the stump, you know, that's all that you know, the air's gonna just come in over there. I don't know. Like, it's almost like I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, maybe that's all I'll do. I'll just weld it right to there, and then drill a whole bunch of holes through this thing, so the, the wind just comes chooching in every which way and stuff. And I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but. <clears throat> Again, this is the first wood stove. I've never seen a wood stove made out of a water heater before, so I mean, it's sort of, you know, touch and go as to what's going to work and what's not going to work. But, uh, you know, if it don't work, I can chop her apart and fix her or figure something else out or whatever, but it's got to work. Either way, it's going to work better than what we got in there, so, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, better shut the plasma cutter off. So, yeah, don't catch your new fancy pants on fire. Apologize. So, basically, Trace out, you know, that arc or whatever, and uh, stuff like that. Work out the kinks and grind out the edges and stuff like that. And then, you know, there'll be a, a piece you know, out, out the son of a bitch sort of thing, you know. So that'll be cool. And uh, stuff like that. But I got to uh, pretty much uh, dicked without the grinders. Eh? We've got to gotta get a, do a lot of grinding and. I uh, looked at my inventory and we're out, so off to PA we go. Well, this uh, is probably one of my most frequented stores, even though they're friggin' goofs. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into in here. Yeah, are you chichin? Chooch me on my no no stakes. Hey, how's it going today? It's going. How are you? Do you guys have any moat supplies? Moat? Yeah, we're building this moat. So we got, uh, we got a shop, eh, and somebody, snowmobilers come by in the back. 
and then they fuck off with all our uh, scrap metal, eh? We lost all our aluminum, all our caps. We used to have an excavator. So we're going to, uh, well, no, we, the, we got the hole. We just need, like, some sharp shit to put in the bottom, maybe. Stuff that they can't get out of. Really. Like some it's rubber, you know, we don't want the water to drain out of it, so we need some rubber. Uh, yeah, got nothing. Rut, like membrane sort of thing or something. Nothing, yeah. Home Depot. Yeah? Yeah. They got malt supplies? Uh, tarps, we got tarps, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. that's not going to work for you. Yeah. He's looking for a member of something yeah. that they, they would stick to, like, the basement. But it's got to be good and heavy, too, because you want to put, like, you know, the rustiest, sharpest metal in there ever. Because, you know, we don't want them to just fall in the moat, um, go walking up the other side and steal our stuff again. Oh, you know, right? you know what? What about those rolls of uh, rubber that we just had in? Too small. We got a few yeah, of them he, but he, he says he wants water to flow through it too, right? Well, it's just along the back of the lot where the where, where you can't see. You know what I mean? It's like you can. I don't. know, It's hard to explain, but fence, there's but yeah, there's no fence there, and it's, so it's just a tree line, and they're they're coming in. They eh, on snowmobiles. It's a field right behind the shop. So we dug this big huge pit. Well, it started to. We're starting to. But I mean, it's it's got to be. It's, it's as long as this as wide as this store, eh? So then it's going to be probably eight feet deep and then freaking pull one of those so i mean it's well, fuck we're gonna need 30 foot wide by a couple hundred feet you know mm. couldn't tell you the son of a bitch i try i try home people cops build all because they're into dealing with contractors okay we're done cops Playing around with an extension cord uh, and, and a shop, and uh, his house is on fire. He yeah. burned it down. Hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, he burned it right down. That's expensive. Where'd uh, where'd all the? Uh, where you find him? I got it. He apologizes. No problem. That's okay. He apologizes. Thank you. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, here we go. Here we go, 16 bucks here. We'll get the uh, the old seven inch son of a bitch there. Okay. The old Dayalt. Now we need, uh, gonna need a couple of these guys. Friggin' eight forty nine a piece for the four inch. Unbelievable. My goodness. Choo 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 choo! So yeah, that was our day today. Uh, I'll get back at her tomorrow, but uh, today's Wednesday, so uh, you guys are uh, gonna have to uh, go to the website there, Redneck Launcher website, to uh, check out that stupid son of a bitch on his clients. Uh, so yeah, well I'll put the link to that on the uh, son of a bitch there, and go check out the BBB show tonight on the website. Yeah, sneak peek. Shoot.